I really want to go back to loving everyone again rather than being suspicious of everyone. This is the biggest thing that I have a problem with. The hardest thing I have a problem trying to come to terms with is that not everybody has your best interests at heart. I, I just, it's fucked up my world view. And I have really, I really have trouble trying to let it go. I do. Because when I'm feeling like, um, when I'm living in this world, this dimension, this parallel reality, that you can't trust anyone, it's not the world I want. <laughs> and I'm, I don't want to be immature about this, but it's not the world I want. My heart doesn't want to let go of that. Even though life is showing me, even though life is showing me, <laughs> even though life is showing me the truth, and I keep trying to form some kind of worldview that makes sense to me, where I can keep love and trust in there, because without it, life is empty, life is dark, life is fearful. I don't like your world. Pretty much. I know that um, from personal experience that we can't ignore the shadow within all of us. But I'm still bummed out by that because when I feel love for all and have trust for humanity and hope for humanity, that's the only time that I can actually feel something vibrate out from my heart to all. When I'm putting up all the barriers and the world gets ugly, I guess. I don't know. I just don't want an ugly world. Yeah, I just, I can't find a worldview that fits that yet. And it's bugging me because I don't want to let that go. But it's too dangerous to keep it in. <laughs> There's got to be a compromise there that I've got to find.